In the year 2015, the whole world was rejoicing for a Chinese woman named Tu Youyou because using traditional Chinese medicine, she sent a gift to the world. At the Nobel Prize Awards ceremony where she received the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, Tu Youyou addressed the world. Traditional Chinese medicine is a vast treasure house. We really ought to fully explore and improve. Artemis Sinin An anti-malaria, naturally occurring chemical, was discovered through information from this treasure house. From her research experience with artemisinin, she fully realized both traditional Chinese medicine and modern Western medicine have their own unique strong points. And when the two are combined in a way that complements the other, a whole new range of potential and a promising future is opened. Traditional Chinese medicine (TCM) has a history stretching back some 3,000 years. TCM follows the ancient principles of yin and yang, believing that people's existence, growth, behavior, and death are inseparable from nature. Adhering to these principles, TCM has never stopped exploring and evolving its theories and systems. Over the gradual progression of these thousands of years, traditional Chinese medicine never forgot its principles of adhering to the laws of nature, revering life, balancing yin and yang, and bringing unification. From this background, traditional Chinese medicine evolved to develop many forms of treatment, such as herbal medicine, acupuncture and moxibustion, tuina, massage, cupping, qigong, and food therapy. All with the aim of bringing the body back into or maintaining good health. Have you heard of TCM, traditional Chinese medicine? No. Yes, of course. Not really. No. Yes, I I heard about it. Yes, of course. But I never tried it. I've heard something, but I am not familiar with it. Yeah, it works. It works. No. You tried it before. Yeah, in my country. Would you be interested in trying it yourself? Yes, myself. <laughs> Actually, the first time I came here, the doctors gave me the、uh, Chinese medicine. Good for health, and a lot of people tried it, and they say that it's pretty good. But I've never tried it. Like I love to try this one. I want to try it. Already since ancient times, people from all over the world were coming to China, impressed with the culture and knowledge. And they took the knowledge of Chinese medicine with them, so that it spread far and wide. Now, in present times, traditional Chinese medicine has spread to 183 countries and districts, with 103 countries already recognizing the use of acupuncture, and hundreds of TCM schools spread in over 30 countries. At the same time as influencing the whole world, traditional Chinese medicine, with the aid of modern technology, Has continued to develop and expand. In the year 2015, there were already 3,966 TCM hospitals and 42,528 clinics in China, with the number of combined visits for the year reaching 910 million. Just a simple plant, just a simple needle. However, traditional Chinese medicine has turned them into cures for countless types of illnesses. Maybe you think it's magic. Maybe you don't believe. Whatever you do think, TCM has lasted some 3,000 years and spread over a vast land. It wouldn't have without a reason. In the following story, I will take you on a journey to understand the curious and wondrous medical treatments of the Orient, such as acupuncture and moxibustion, herbal medicine, tuina, massage, cupping, qigong. Food therapy and many more. Come with me as I open your eyes to the mysteries of traditional Chinese medicine. Wow.